hi everyone welcome back to style blender and in this video i will show you how you can sew delicate fabrics thin fabrics or uh, chiffon fabric basically so um i am working on my chiffon fabrics and there are a few tips and tricks which i use uh and i learned from my mistakes there there are basically three uh, rules you have to follow it's cutting needling and uh, pressing and on your computer as you can see uh, in front of your screen you can see that uh, what kind of needles you need for uh, sewing thin or thick materials definitely you would have your um, instruction manual uh, for your sewing machine and there uh, the manufacturers give a, gives a guideline uh, for uh, everyone uh, that what, sh uh, what kind of needles you need for what type of fabric. Uh, chiffon is a very delicate fabric and if you make a little mistakes then you have to pay um, a lot for it. You can ruin your garment, you can definitely um, get frustrated re very easily. So. Uh, I will start with cutting your fabric if when you start cutting your fabric then uh, use a fabric stabilizer uh, if you, uh, you don't want to use that and you don't have so much money for your project then uh, uh, the cheaper option is to get a uh, tissue paper or um, for for myself I usually sew chiffon with lining so I definitely don't use any of these but if you are not sewing with uh, um, lining and you're sewing it's uh, your material by itself then I would suggest you to uh, first uh, make a pattern of uh, your project and then put it on pieces and then cut it in so sew it will and uh, pressing is really really important and uh, when you um, iron your fabrics then your seams and there won't be any um, um, creases and uh, you would have a very nice and flat surface so here i uh, have lines <laughs> of course I, here i have creases but um, i'm just telling you uh, you need to have a flat surface when you are sewing it and a pin as much as you can if you are uh, sewing with your um, lining piece then put the lining first cut the lining piece and then just uh, get the length of your garment whatever you need and just take that out uh, having one to two inches extra for just in case if you make a mistake uh, you can always cut the extra fabric as I always say that you but if you are sure with the fabric it's hard to adjust it's not impossible but but it hard it's hard so anyways uh, pin your lining piece as much as you can make sure you have a very flat surface because oh one uh, wrong cut make uh, um, your fitting will be loose or tight so it's all it all depends how much patience you have while you sewing the garment and um, it's better to sew around uh, the armhole uh, area on your shoulders before cutting the neckline and make a straight stitch in the middle I'll show you the front side and this is how it looks at the front uh, uh, when you pin uh, if you're not sewing by hand and uh, then I would suggest you to put extra pins because uh, what happens when you use extra pins then uh, there is no space for your fabrics to shift around so as you can see on my fabric the fa uh, the flowers are not stretching out the lines are not uh, stretching the fabric is easy and flat so there is no stretch so when you're cutting um, 
chiffon and you have extra leftover and uh, your fabric is coming out from here and there then you don't have to get panic uh, you have to work it out if you don't have the lining piece cut on the paper put that paper on top of your chiffon fabric and then pin it and cut it if you're sewing with the uh, lining then it's always a good idea to make a, um, a stitch in the middle you can take off that stitch later on and also I want to share with you one more thing that um, when you're sewing your chiffon material or any light fabrics then what happens is your machine start eating the fabric it, and I will tell you how to prevent your machine from eating light fabrics it's um, um, I know it's really frustrating but what you can do uh, first put your fabric and then make sure your needle uh, thread and your bobbin thread both you have on your hands and then uh, uh, start sewing and I would suggest you to start rotating the hand wheel for a couple of the time uh, for a couple of times to being begin the stitching process and then start stitching slowly with the by pressing a sewing paddle needles are very important and you need brand new or I don't use all the time brand new but I try to use a fine tip uh, sewing machine needles and for chiffon uh, I usually use 9 uh, which is US size 9 uh, or 65 Europe I think that's the Europe number and 70 10 uh, they, they are the good um, uh, needle size for uh, sewing a thin material now I'll show you how you can sew the curve areas uh, they are really hard because what happens at the end you uh, left with one or one and a half inch uh, fabric the reason is the foot start pushing the fabric towards you and the end result is not nice so I will suggest you it's really um, not uh, really easy process all you need is patience when you're stitching delicate fabric so what I do is this is the neckline I am stitching and I'll show you what you have to do is press your fabric with the help of needle and push it back make sure you are not creating any line so I'll I won't uh, do a fast forward here I've just wanted you show I just wanted to show you the process that how it works and uh, you will see yourself that uh, I'm not creating any pleats here I'm just pushing my fabric backwards so at the end I won't have any extra material coming out from the corners see I'm not uh, is sewing fast I am taking my time and sewing very slowly so you have to do the same thing so these are my tips and tricks I just want to tell you guys one more thing before I um, finish my video is don't panic with your mistakes own your mistakes learn from it and move on uh, don't get frustrated if you are getting frustrated then I would suggest you to take a break um, and come back within a few hours or maybe next day with some new ideas and def definitely you can work it out if you have any suggestions any questions any new tips uh, for sewing delicate fabrics please do let me know in the comments and I just wanted to show you the end result of the neckline thank you so much for watching this video please uh, do let me know in the comments what kind of uh, videos you're looking for share your tips and tricks hashtag style of blender and uh, all the links related to this video in the description box take care you all bye now